How are we going? We will. I'm back. I'm back. Now yeah, I'm playing with my phone again and trying to get it right. There we go. That's right. You can see me right. Alright. Someone made a concerted effort in regards to me um smoking. Right? To think of the animals. Now I do I smoke with the door open. So it filters the air. The birds are in another room now. And um, Tootie and Oscar are on the bed with Mary. Right? Okay. Anyway, so, my last video wasn't the best. But um, it was the truth, you know? And that about, not about it, quite a few things, you know, about, you know, finances and support. Oscar! What are you doing? Oh, okay. Let's see. If Oscar, if Mary moves in bed, Oscar bites her feet. Because he's an idiot. Anyway. So. What was I saying? Yeah, well, you know, they're the facts, aren't they? You know? you got to have one or the other. And, you, and you, you're very lucky if you've got both. You know? Um, there's a lot of people out there that are suffering. I mean, you know, a lot of people out there, we all have the same opinion and it's, it's sad that our, you know, down to earth, not even opinions, it's just down to earth honesty. I mean, you know, like, look what happened in Sydney again. A priest got stabbed by, by a 16-year-old kid, right, from, who, from another, from a mosque. Right, and um, you know, I, I won't, re I won't read the message that a, a, a subscriber sent me, but I'll give you a brief rundown. But the thing is, is like these people, these parishioners, and these people who went to this church, right, to end up with what over what five hundred people gathering there after the stabbing. Really, you want me to believe, and you want other people to believe that five hundred people. You know, all went there in regards to the, the the priest being stabbed. No, right. A lot of them were probably were, they just heard about it. For the, you know, I heard it through the grapevine that I need to smash up a police car that they there to help others, but I'll just smash it anyway. I mean, really, how in the fucking faith, right? Are you going there and then? Hindering, not rendering, hindering assistance to the frontline people who are there to render assistance to the person that you're supposedly there to stand, you know, see if they're all right. In turn, hinder the ambulance able to get to the priest who was stabbed because you're smashing a fucking police car. Are you fucking mental? Are you, are you fucking under, you, you must be fucking mental. You know what I'd do? If I was the first responder, at, at that scene and confronted with that crowd, that hostile crowd towards me. Of course, we live in Australia. This isn't Lebanon. This is not the Middle East, yeah? Okay? Right? You know this. You're told this about our laws. And they, this is in any civilised country, okay? Right? Where they don't have stoning or hanging or, you know, or, you know burnings, okay? Right? In a civilised country. Right? When front lines come, we come to... Grab the guilty or the accused, right, and protect them because they then they now become in, in our duty of care, okay? Um, but we will take them down whatever means possible, okay? Right? And, that, and then you, once we've got them under control, as much as you're angry, don't hit me. You called us or someone called us, okay? In this country, we can't turn them over. I heard people saying, hand him over, hand him what sort of a country would do you want to if you want to go back to that country that hands over the the, the perpetrator to the public then go back to that country that you come from because we don't do that in australia all right we either do it like this you either call the police and you let the police handle it right or you shut up depending on the situation you shut up right and you take care of it yourselves but how are you going to take care of anything when 500 of you all gather there, all carrying red lights, you know, or just just a fucking torch to let everyone know where you are, 
you know, oh, I'm over here. This is supposed to be red, by the way. So red light yourselves, right? Okay, right? And then and then stomp on police cars and then start throwing bricks and, 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 and steel bars at the ambulance officers and the police themselves while they're trying to get your own priest to the hospital so he can get the right... Med Are you fucking mental? You're so fucking mental. You know, all the one, if I was the first responder, you know what I would have done? I'll tell you what I would have done. I would have pulled out my fucking my gun. I would have fired sh two shots off in the fucking air, right? Okay? Like in the Wild Wild West to clear a fucking circle because everyone would have fucking shit themselves. There would have been that many Nikes in the fucking air running, right? And that. Then, then, the next person that comes close to me, they couldn't give a fuck. When I'm surrounded by fucking 500 people who are throwing bricks and iron bars at me and my fellow colleagues and, 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 and emergency services officers, I will, as far as I'm concerned, we're under attack. We're under attack, right? And I'll put one in your foot. I'll, I'll put a hole in your Nike, mate, right? Then we'll hear the fucking, then we'll hear the, the screaming. Fucking hell. You want to hear newborn baby scream? Let me tell you, go and stay in one of their fucking Nikes, mate. You'll all scream like babies. They're fucking, it's a joke. Right? But you wanted this world. You wanted this world with no law and order and everything else. And you know what? We conform to it. We give it to them. Look what happened in, you know, Mel Melton Shopping Centre. Not more than fucking, what, three days? Three days. Violent attack with machetes and tomahawks and everything. Kids. 15 and 16. Jesus fucking Christ. But anyway. Yeah, my opinions. And that, a lot of people want them brought into factual truth or actions, that would be good. I'll tell you now, you do that to a couple of people, and that, and I'll tell you, you know what? There'd be no more fucking crime. Open up Pentridge again. Open up Pentridge jail again. Make that a, a real jail again, right? You know how many people would want to go to Pentridge when it was a, you know how many people wanted to go to Pentridge when Pentridge was a, 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 a jail, an active jail? None. Because it was fucking jail, mate. There was no central heating, there was no TVs. You all share it in the same cubicle. You know, none of this, oh, your own room, your own this, your own that. None of that shit. No, 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 no. You got your three meals and you're allowed to take a couple of pieces of bread back to your fucking cell to eat overnight if you're hungry. That was it. You eat cold during the winter, you got an extra fucking blanket. Right? Lights were out. That's it. None of this fucking 24 hours in your fucking cell kipped up with your fucking white, with your fucking Essex and that sitting there going, eh, yeah, no worries, mate, making your goom and that. In there, because you're fucking hitting the fucking apples and shit. And that, fucking wankers. Fucking jail. These days. Fucking hell. You know what? <laughs> to get a room like that, I've got to pay the Novotel fucking $280 a night to get a fucking room like that. You fuckers, you get it for nothing. And you get your teeth fixed and everything else, and you get put through courses. What do you do with it? What do you fucking do with it? You bullshit the system. I'm conformed. Oh, yeah, no worries. You get back out on the street. As soon as you slip your foot back into a pair of Nikes, you're a fucking idiot again. Fuck me. Unbelievable, mate. Yeah, no worries. Let's fucking just stone and cause a riot. The ambulance couldn't get there because the street was full of so many people. It's a fucking joke. Right? But no, you all wanted you all wanted the rainbow cloud and the fucking everything else and you know, free love and don't tell us what to do and no more carbon, but you know, we'll drive our cars to the protest sites and you know, everything else in our e-bikes with lithium batteries that you know, some kids fucking mined in Africa. For child labour, you know, slave labour. Oh, yeah, that's all beautiful, helping the world. Yeah, no worries. It's a fucking load of shit. It's a, it's a joke. It's an absolute joke. If it wasn't real, I would be pissing myself laughing. Literally, I would fucking, literally, dis I would be shit and piss myself laughing that hard. All right? But it's not a joke. So there's no shit or piss here. You know, real people are hurting. I mean, you've got to take, even, I'll tell you what this one subscriber said to me. Right, who's a, a nurse and stuff like that, and suffers from PTSD. Right, and like he, oh, I totally agree with what he said. What he said, I don't agree. Right, in the actions of that person at Bondi, nor the person that just stabbed that priest. I don't agree in those actions, and I don't agree in the actions of the protesters or the people, the rioters against the police. I don't agree in any of that. Right, I don't like violence in general. Right, but. If violence needs to be dealt out, let me tell you, I'm not the one to come to, to dish violence out to. You know what? Because I don't play. I don't play violence, okay? I end it. There's a big difference between wanting to have a fight 
you know, at, at, at fight with someone and then come to me. I don't fight, I'll end it. That's it, simple as that. Either you'll end me, but let me tell you, when you're confronting me and people like me, right, you've got to understand that not everyone's going to fight, right? I don't fight, I just end it. I'm not there to fight. I've got no time to fight. I don't want to fight, okay? I will do any move I make towards you will be a move to, dis to disable you instantly, not punch you and knock you around, okay? You've got to understand there's no referee. I'm on the street, whatever. You would come at me and I see you come at anyone else. You know, I, I'm not there to play, right? Fighting's not a game. But you, know, you all want to fight. What are you going to fight for? How about you just, you know, there's no fighting. The soldiers, they, they use the word fighting. You know, go to, it's war. It's war, okay? I don't shoot, I go and pick up my gun in war and just, oh, I'm just going to shoot him in the arm. You're not aiming at the arm. You're taking most body shots or a headshot. That's war. Take life. That's it. You're not there to wrestle, waste time and stuff. So don't waste my fucking time. Don't waste a lot of people's time. You know, what are you fucking, what are you, how, how many of those people that were turned up at that right honestly pay taxes? How many of them were drug dealers? And that, how many of them drive, you know, what are the high purchase cars that they're not making payments on? You know, Jesus fucking Christ, you know, unbelievable. But anyway, so getting back to what I was saying, I don't agree, nor did this person agree to the violence that was taken out, whether this person was suffering mental health and whatever, what happened at Bondi, right? But what you all have to recognise is this. That person was in the system. They knew he, he, they knew of him in, in New Queensland and New South Wales. And they let him slip through the ropes to the point where there was no there was no catching. Right? There should have been catchments to see that he's withdrawn from friends, family, right? And and and, and basically all he had left was a storage unit to live in. A storage unit. This is Australia. We donate, how many, how many hundreds of millions get donated just out of public money? We donate, Lifeline, all of these. For what? Where's all this money going? That's why I'm over, I'm over this, uh, you know, mental health awareness. How about we have mental health action? Start doing something. Well, it's all good having the awareness if there's no one that fucking action in it. I'm over it. Where's all this money going? Where's all these reforms for the government to adhere to? That bloke shouldn't have been allowed to slip through the cracks. Withdraw from... As soon as he... If he, he, he stopped taking his medication, that should have been picked up straight away. We've got computers. We're not by pencil and paper anymore. So why didn't the computer... Wasn't it set to take... It set off an alarm. This bloke hasn't come in. He hasn't been taken. He hasn't picked up a script. That's been, we're not going to go find him, bring him in, have a chat, Whatever. And no, no, we just let it just go. Oh, yeah, that's another one off the benefits. Beautiful, saves some cash. That's how it's seen. I don't agree in his actions. Don't make me, let me make that quite clear. Right? But that man was pushed to a point where he, he could only afford a storage unit. So if you want to really, yes, you can be angry at him. But you also, if you're going to be angry at him, you also need to be angry at the system that he was in, that knew of him. Be angry at that system too if not more angrier at them because they've allowed him to go down that road, that road that ended in, in a horrible tragedy for all, for all. And he had to be in a bad place too. You know, people have a snapping point and, you know, while we're handing out, while we're, if, you, if you put it this way, if you're, not, if you're no longer handing out discipline or making people accountable for their actions, you know what you've stopped doing? You've stopped looking. You've stopped overseeing. Because you're not, why should you oversee anymore if you're not going to hand out any discipline? You know, it, 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 it's gone. So if you want no discipline and you know want people to be accountable for their actions, you are then taking out the, 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 the big brother, if you want to call it, that overseeing eye of law and order. You've taken that away. So expect this to happen more. Because if we put that eye back on, that eye has to act. And that eye will act. Oh, something's wrong there. Let's go down and have a look. You don't want that anymore. No, no, nothing to see here. No, 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 don't harass us. Or leave us alone. We're just blocking traffic for the fuck of it because we don't like coal and, and, or, you know, the Palestine and everything else like that. Are you fucking for real? You know what? To the Palestinians, right? You want to block my city, our city, 
and that you've come here, go fucking back, mate. You feel that strongly about it? All get aeroplane tickets and that and go back there. Take the protest there. Don't bring it to my do doorstep or in other people's doorstep. Do you do you also do your own, you know, your own, you know, due diligence in in regards to your protests and who you're protesting against and how you do it. You know? You're supposed to be peaceful. You're not peaceful at all. You're scaring the shit out of people. And that I can't walk down the footpath because you and they're all scared, and then I can't even hold the Australian flag. Jesus Christ, mate. You're in Australia and protesting for Palestinians and you're making the nation that you've come to can't even fly their flag. We're supposed to be ashamed of our own flag. Go fuck yourselves. And that. Ashamed. What the fuck have you ever done for the rest of the world? And that. Bar whinge. Bar fucking whinge. And that. It's always whinges. Always whinges. Aboriginals. Whinges. You know? And that. Pride marches. Whinges. And that. All fucking winches sticking it in our face. So, yeah. So, as for mental health awareness, I'm fucking over it. How about we have Mental Health Action Day? Or just action. Not even a day, just action it. Start action what you want us to be aware of. Huh? What about that? I've had a bad couple of days. I had a fucking... I had a fucking wrestle and a half with David. And that absolute wrestle and a half. Mental. Mental wrestle. Mental. And physical. Oh, I'm not going to doubt it. It was fucking physical too. Fuck. You know, I've had Andrew ringing me. He's worried. I had Peter ringing me. I had Stuart. I've had a number of other people. And that ringing me. I turned off my phone. Fucking shit. It's fucking hard. And then you turn the TV on and you get this. And then you see the people who are there to protect us. They come to your, our aid and then you stone them. Fucking cross, you know. And then you, you, wreck, you, wreck, you wreck 40 police cars and emergency services vehicles. You wreck them. There's more expense to our um, ever-growing debt. Um, there's more police cars off the road for when you need an incident that they tend to. They can't now because so many police cars have been taken off the road. It's going to be slower to attend and you're going to whinge about that. You did it. You fucking did it. You fucking pro Palestinian, you know, you know, protesters. You know what? Let me tell you something to all those people about these Palestinians, you know, these protesters. Do you know what they do, right? To make sure that the mounted police can't get in there. You want to know what they do? I'll tell you what they do. They throw oil and marbles and spikes, nail spikes, on the ground. So they can't bring in the mounted police. How's that? So they're real kind, aren't they? Because they know that the horse could slip over, so break its leg, you know, puncture its hoof, whatever. So it really, okay, that, that's, that's a good thing to do. So for starters, they're peaceful, are they? That's a, that's a violent action. That's a trap. And that. No worries. Marbles, nail spikes for the horses to step on. And the police responders too. You know, step on them. You're going to cripple them. So you, you already prepared yourself for violence. So don't expect us to come in with um with, with kid gloves. So let me tell you, you, you are lucky that there's not a lot of people out there in those first respondents that have the attitude I have. So let me tell you, I wouldn't even come in. You know what I'd get? I'd get a bulldozer. I'd just get graders, right? That that would clean you up, yeah? And as for these, you know, these, you know, also with Palestinian marches, you know what I'd also do? I'd also go to a piggery and I'd get about 20 pigs and I'd let them loose first because most of you are Muslims, aren't you? Yeah, you are. And that, you don't like pigs, do you? Right, so I'd let them loose in front. They'd clear the way. And I'd get all my officers to rub themselves down in pig fat and that, so you couldn't, you wouldn't assault us, and that, and you wouldn't want to touch us, and you wouldn't want us touching us. I'd change the whacking sticks for um, cabana sticks, and that made out of pig, huh? No, eh? got to wash yourself seven times if you get touched with one of them. This is getting a bit racial now, isn't it? No, eh? oh well, it is what it is. You bring this shit to my country, and that you're supposed to swear allegiance to our our way of life, conformity to a point. Not in, just in, in our society. Not in your home, but in our outdoor society. You're not. You're stunning our police cars. And we're there to help you. We go there to help. Anyway. So I'm back. As you can tell, I'm back. Whether I'm thinking straight, whatever, I don't know. 
who thinks straight anymore? What is, what is normal to think, think straight? You know, especially now you go into the, the toilet, you know, I'm using a urinal and some bloke down on the ground scratching her head in kid litter. That's normal, is it? Hmm. That's not fucking normal, mate. I said to someone the other night, I said, we send, there's these, there's kids going to school thinking they're birds, cats and dogs and, and now trees, right? We're in pot plants and they think they're a tree and that, and they're allowed to go to school with normal kids, right? And I said, but yet our Down, sy and Down syndrome um, children and that boy or girl, Down syndrome, who suffer from Down syndrome, um, they're not allowed to go to our, our schools. But yet they're not acting like dogs or cats or trees. I know which one I'd prefer to have walking around a normal school and that would be Down syndrome. You know, because let me tell you, if you think you're a cat and you go, you, you're mental, you're fucking mental. Fucking hell. Non, and non-binary. I mean, what the fuck are you then? I mean, it's just getting out of hand, isn't it? You know, 16-year-old kids committing murder. Oh, but they, they let them out on bail. Well, it's not working, is it? You fucking tree huggers and your rainbow warriors and all of that. It's not fucking working. Your world of abyss of peace and everything it doesn't work without policing you need to fucking you know okay that's how i've been in security a long time right okay so and i've done a lot of raves in the middle of nowhere right and there's never been in trouble inside do you want to know why because of the strong and and stern stern response of security on the gates to be able to look and see trouble coming or that behaviour, and stomp it out, and let it know that if you fuck up out here, you're going to get, well, you're going to get reasonable, as they say, reasonable and proportioned force, and that, okay, really, that what that means is, you are going to get a smack and a half, mate, okay, you muck up, and you're going to get smacked, and there's a team of us, that are all able to do it, you know, so, don't respect me, understand that I'm there to do a job, and I will do it, and that, and some of the best raves are run by the strongest security, and that, because of that reason, the fear of the security, and yet people can have a great time, you got weak security, it's not a good, not a good fucking, not a good fucking um, festival, you know, you get, it does, it's the truth, it's the truth, you know, have a look at our prisons, look at the ones that are run privately to the ones that are run, run governmentally, the private sector prisons get overrun all the time, have a look, you know, the last riot, what, they got a hold of a fucking tractor, Jesus fucking Christ, but anyway, so getting off that, so you're on back, all right, um, yeah, I'm back, went out, had something to eat with Mary, had a shower, it was a bit smelly, we had a talk, it was good, it was nice, she spoke to me mate Peter, and that, got to bring Andrew tomorrow, um, yeah, yeah, anyway, so yeah, to everyone out there, Thank you, and let's let's really think about let's having this national hug day, regardless if you've got family, it doesn't matter. A hug's a hug, and a meaningful hug means a lot. You know, all right. Um, and also, let's really ask the hard questions. Let's stop. You know, the, these these mental health awarenesses mainly. Pin them down and sit them down and say, all right, you've got all this money, the awareness money and everything else like that. So what are you actually doing with it? Where, where are you actioning the mental health? You've made the awareness. Now where's the action to it? You know? All right. Hopefully you understand that. I don't know what I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to call this video. Wake up. Wake up. Something. Uh, I'll sort something out. Take care. Love you all. Like and subscribe. 
and share the video. All right? See ya. Bye. Go get a pot.